All right, building collapse. Here we go. Whee! Oh, no. Uh oh. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of People Playground, and as you can see, the people are under attack here because we have an alien tripod uh, that is burning and, oh, it's actually just, oh no, it's melting people right now. So yes, it's burning and melting people, except for this one guy back here. He decided he uh, was going to nope out of there and let the rest of the people get burned. So, I was thinking to myself after looking at this fantastic creation, is there a way we could build a person that could fight back and take down the alien menace here? So, as you can see, there is a bomb in the middle of this. That's the weak point. That's not supposed to be activated. I think you're supposed to shoot it. So, yeah. If we can take that out while getting close enough, I think we have a chance. These people over here didn't have a chance. Where are you going? No, don't do it. Come on. You weren't on fire or anything. Oh. Guess he wanted to join everybody else. So, hmm, shall we do this by vehicle? I kind of want to do it by like armored person. So let me go ahead and clear the living, which there really wasn't any living left. And let's build ourselves another armored dude. Now we've played around with armor in the game, but it's always been somebody that's standing still. I need to be able to armor up somebody that is moving and holding a gun, which is probably gonna be impossible. I guess we should first run a couple uh, weapons test here, which by the way, like I said, welcome back to the uh, People Playground. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for future builds, let me know down in the comment section below. But let's run a couple tests here and let's see what we can do. All right, so I can get you to hold this gun. You know, the weird thing is, I don't think you can get them to hold it up. He just holds it down to, oh no, is that gun too heavy for you, buddy? Man, you guys need to like work out a little bit or something because this gun's too heavy, you guys are not going to get very far. I mean, ideally, somebody can hold that. And we could just shoot one round into the alien and explode it. So, hmm, I guess the only way to do this... Alright, I've got him holding it, but I still need him to pin it up. So I'm going to pause time here. Uh, let's get one of the flex cables here. Or the fixed cable, I should say. And let's pin it to this. Alright, that looks a little bit better. Oh, he's too heavy in the front. I need to add some butt weight. Uh, maybe we can add like a... Uh oh, I did not mean to put that on your face. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, maybe we can put a counterweight on his butt cheeks or something. Or maybe we'll have an armored plate uh, big enough that'll weigh him down a bit. The only thing I'm concerned about is he's got to survive the laser in order to get within range of this. I mean, this would be much easier just to armor up a car, but I want to try this the hard way first. All right, so we need to armor this person up. You know, we could just make a human rocket with the fireworks and shoot him into the uh, the alien. I know somebody said from the last episode they wanted to see a uh, jetpack made out of fireworks, which we could do that. But we need to make a person here that is super strong. Uh, can we use syringes? Maybe we can use syringes. All right, so this is going to be the butt weight. Uh, let's not put this on the joint. So hopefully this will uh, weigh him down a little bit towards the back. And then we need to work on some armor here. So there's your butt weight. Does that help balance you out? Ah, it does a little. Uh-oh. <laughs> it might be a little too heavy. Can I make it not weightless, but maybe a little less heavy? I don't know. We'll have to test out the armor first. Uh, stand back up. Okay. Come on, soldier. You got a job to do here. All right. So what's the best thing for the lasers? Obviously, the mirrors are. And these will deflect the laser hopefully back into the alien and just destroy it that way but i'm kind of doubting that's going to happen so we're going to put a plate here man i can't put leg plates on it has to be something small because yeah the weight's going to be too much it's going to make it to where they also can't walk so all right let's attach this like that i don't know the point of that back plate by the way so we'll go here here nope not to the arm to the body all right so you got a front plate on we need something small. A lot of people use the wrenches for armor because it's so small and they could still potentially walk. So actually we can leave it maybe loose on the bottom of the mirror. That way the legs aren't interrupted there. So we'll go something like that. Hey, this is looking pretty decent. Okay. And we need front armor. So we're probably gonna need to make a helmet out of wrenches here. Uh, that way we can try to protect the skull uh, from the laser. There's still going to be a little bit of a gap right around the neck area, but 
there's not much I can do there. I mean, I could pin it down, but it might break the neck. So let's try not to do that. Dude, look at this. This is the most advanced helmet I've ever seen. So let's go boop and we'll go boop and we'll just attach this like it's a chin strap and then we'll attach one at the back. All right, let's see if they can even stand here. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, he's leaning. Oh, do we need more weight in the back or is this just too much weight overall? Oh no, uh oh, oh, he's bending a certain way on. Oh, I know buddy, here, can you walk for me? Does walking work? Did he just die? I think he just got strangled by the uh, thing there. All oh, right, stand up buddy, come on, stand. Uh oh, you're, oh. Yep, there's definitely something wrong about this. What if we just make a mirrored person? Like, do we have anybody that can actually walk in full armor? I don't think so. So something happened with the armored plates and somehow they both ended up in his back. You are useless to me. You know, I might as well just send a bunch of people with rocket launchers and see what happens. All right, you know what? Uh, there you go. All right, uh, let's go to another test maybe. The question is, can you actually hold one of these? Uh, let's go like that. Does that go inside of your head? What what happens here? Oh, oh, you can hold this. Oh no, it's too heavy for you. You know, I think mostly they're meant to hold like the uh, the pistols and the melee weapons. This might be a bit too heavy. Can I make them hold this in two hands? On uh oh, okay. I know your hands not supposed to go that way. Sorry, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna try to make them. Can I make you double hand this? Is this is this a thing? Or do you, can you only hold it in one hand? Oh, uh, I think you can only do it in one hand. Maybe we get a two-man team over here to lift this rocket up. You know, let's go and try to fire this off. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> He's got a death grip on it. Uh, okay, so that's definitely not the way to take out the walker. So that's two failed tests in a row there. Oh, this is going to go well. I mean, we could send a car in there to do the job. And with the big, maybe, laser turret... Or we could just do the car. Ah, I got an idea. We could do a car with mirrors on it. I know it's not quite as satisfying as having an armored person do this, but I feel like this might work a little bit better. All right, so we might have a couple issues here. I think I need to strap some rocket launchers onto this thing because I'm not sure I can get this thing to target the core of this. So obviously we want to have a couple missile launchers. Uh, we'll mount these towards the front. We'll angle them up. Uh, towards the beast and we'll see what can happen by the way we also need to test out the tripod against the building because I have a pretty sweet skyscraper I want to test out uh, we'll do that here in just a second I just want to see if this is possible so I'm liking our odds here with this car because it is pretty awesome looking let me go ahead and attach these all together that way they should set each other off uh, when activated and that looks pretty toasty I think. All right, well, I guess we should try this out. All right, so are you gonna be able to withstand this? Let's go ahead and save this real quick. And then we'll just run a test where we just run the car into it. And then we'll do another test where we try to activate the weapons. All right, here we go. It's popping a wheelie. Oh, <laughs> it just passes right by. Okay, so I know what needs that. Wait, wait a minute. That just now dawned on me. This sensor doesn't detect everything. It only detects life. So, what's keeping us from just speeding the car through, and what's keeping us from doing actually this? So, if we just park the car here, let's go ahead and launch some missiles at it. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, that's pretty good shots. Go a couple more rounds. We got to detonate the bomb. Oh, we got it. We got the bomb there. And then it turned red, so it's dead. Okay. I was kind of expecting it to fully blow apart. By the way, what happens when we unfreeze this thing? Uh, I'm sure, is it frozen or is it just, oh, it's not frozen. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. By the way, it's also got a flame throw on the bottom of it. I guess if stuff gets a little too close. All right, well, that's actually pretty cool. I mean, obviously our little armored car here can defeat the walker, but yeah, I was wanting to test that out. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for armor, how would you guys make armor and still let the person be mobile? That's my big challenge here because I can make an armored up dude and he'd be just fine, but it's the whole fact of how in the heck did I make it where he could still walk? All right, so we've got another thing here. I've got a skyscraper full of people. So actually, I don't know where to spawn this. Let's go ahead and spawn it up here. Ooh. Oh, would you look at that? What is that made of? Is that plates? <laughs> I think that's plates. 
Okay. So the question is, is this thing gonna even hold up? Hold on, let's stick it down here. Okay, so what if the aliens are attacking this? Alright. Wait. Does the alien not notice it because of the plates? Huh? Wow, I, I think that's the thing right now. So the alien's laser can't penetrate to tell if it's plates. What other sensors do we have? I kind of feel like maybe putting a different sensor on this would be a little bit better. Live fire detector. I think it needs to have a detector sensor on it. I don't normally like to activate or I don't normally like to play with people's creations like that, but I feel like that's definitely a thing that could happen because it's got a life sensor on it and I feel like it needs a detector that way it just destroys everything. Let's see if we can modify this cleanly. So let's go detector, there we go. Uh, I believe it was maybe just hooked into... Okay, hold on. I think it needs to be hooked to the base here. And maybe back there. And then it had an activation cable uh, right to this. Okay, so I think maybe that's modified in a way it should destroy everything. We should have did this with the car. Uh-oh. Uh, we zapped something. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Okay, so I got my super laser buried in there now. I had it hooked up a little wrong, so I think this should work now. So if I go, uh-oh, that laser might have been attached kind of wrong. It's aimed up. Uh, maybe we should mount another laser to it. I want to see what it does to this. Here, let's try that again. Maybe I'm going to mount it just right in the front. So yeah, I just needed a, uh, a laser to go right about here. And uh, we're going to put a fixed cable to it. Make sure it's attached, good. And should have an activation wire from this to this. It's all super powered already. So let's see what happens here, okay. Oh, I guess it didn't supercharge. Well, we can make it supercharge. Let's go, whoop. There we go. Oh, the laser breaks the plates. Oh, wait, what? Why do I have a feeling this building's frozen? <laughs> because we just blew through both sides and it's still standing. Oh boy. All right, we're gonna have the uh, building collapse simulator here. Uh, let's go, uh, I guess freeze, and then can I unfreeze? Now oh, the freeze thing doesn't seem to pick up. Oh, wait, actually, I think it's picking up everything, so let's go unfreeze. What? What? What is this being held up by? We're defying the laws of physics here. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing's frozen. Uh, okay, Han, I guess we need to walk the walker a little closer. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oh, there it goes. Wait, what the heck? Uh-oh. Wait, something at the top's got to be frozen. It's hanging itself up, is it not? No. Wait a minute. This thing is attached to the map. Let's go. Boop. Oh, hold on, pause this. This is going to look fantastic, by the way. All right, building collapse. Here we go. Whee! Uh-oh. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. That was not good. Okay, so we did it. <laughs> you know, I kind of just want to see that by itself. So obviously, like I said, comment below with suggestions for the armor. We'll come back to something like that. Uh, but I really want to get that skyscraper back out. And I just want to collapse it. I got an idea. So how about we stick one of our armor dudes from the last couple episodes. Uh, here, I'm going to delete this chair. And then you're going to stand right here. Uh-oh. I think he's attached to the map too. Uh, do I have another one? Do I have one with, like, a plate on his head? What about this guy? Here, let's try... Let's try you. There we go! Uh, do we think he's gonna survive the collapse? I think he's already dead. No, it's fine. Okay, here we go. Alright, go down to the bottom. Alright, let's see what happens here. Oh! Okay, so... It's loose right now. Uh-oh. I think it's tipping. So, if we eliminate just one of these plates, I think it's gonna collapse. You know what? Why eliminate one when you can eliminate a whole group of them? Let's go boop. So when in doubt, pull the rocket out and here we go. Wait, what? Okay, I think we need to break one of these cables. Can we break one of the... Okay, you know what? Maybe a minigun. Let's try that. All right, here we go. Let's go and... Oh, we hit a couple of the participants. Do I really need to delete one of these cables? Okay, let's go delete. And delete. Oh. Wait, it's still being held up. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, people are flying out of the windows. Oh, no. Oh, wait, what the heck is it? Wait, what? 
This is like the perfectly balanced. Oh, it's not balanced. Wait, yeah, it is balanced. What is holding this thing up? I don't know what's happening. Oh, it just collapsed. Hey, quite a few people actually survived that. So, I don't know if it was the tension of the wire, but it didn't fall down nearly as fast, and we actually have survivors. Look at the people that are just standing here. They're like, I have no clue what just happened, but this was uh, fantastic. Uh, let's stick one of these in here. All right, no survivors. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. That definitely was a mistake. Everything's fine. All right, well, <laughs> that was cool. All right, so really quick. I've got to do the suggestion from the last episode. We're going to make a jetpack, and we're going to call this guy Bob, and we're going to send him to space with the, uh, the new fireworks. But, man, it's got to be, like, a really, really stout jetpack. Like, we got to have quite a few of these bad boys. So, I'm thinking of creating, like, a system on each side. And when I say system, it's just a buttload of fireworks on each side. Uh, that'll all activate each other. And then it's going to take him to space. Or at least I hope it's going to. All right, we got two rocket packs here. Let's go ahead and pause time. We're going to move this one here. I mean, normally a jetpack is only on the back. So, maybe we'll just stick them all back here. Uh, I was kind of hoping I could make them fly just straight up. So maybe something like that. There we go. That looks safe, doesn't it? I mean, maybe I'll give him a fire extinguisher on the way up. That way he doesn't burst into flames. I don't think it's going to matter, though, because I have a feeling that he's just going to explode when they go off. But he does it all in the name of science. So we've got that. Uh, let's go ahead and put a single firework maybe in the back here. Uh, oh, actually, I don't want to attach that yet. Let's go boop. Oh, and I took a picture because I clicked the wrong thing. All right, so let's go like this. We'll kind of put this one out at the angle. And this is going to be the activate one. So we'll go here, here. And this is going to activate that pack and that pack. A little messy, but I think it's going to work on. Let's go ahead and save him real quick. All right. Uh oh, oh, they're all active. Are they upside down? Okay. So apparently they were activated and apparently they were upside down. <laughs> How do I make that mistake? Oh, stuff's starting to land. Yeah, they're all aimed down and the whole pack's back. Oh, <laughs> I like how the guy pops. <laughs> Wait, it didn't even activate. Uh, are you serious? You know, I thought the little uh, doohickey on the bottom was meant to be down, but apparently not. Jeez. Okay, it's fine. All right, so all we got to do is turn this pack upside down, and then now it should go the right way. Okay, so let's grab that. By the way, this thing's already activated somehow, so that's a bit of a thing. Uh, here, we're going to grab you. We're going to put you right here. We're going to put these cables here and here. Okay, so I got to immediately... Actually, let's go ahead and just click this one. So, boom, that one's ready to go. All right, let's see if we can get lift off. I don't know if this is enough. Like, we might have to have, like, 100 fireworks strapped to somebody in order to get this to work. So let's go. There it goes. Are we getting any lift? It's getting enough to tip him. Uh-oh. Oh, that sounds horrible. Oh, this is going to be epic in slow-mo. Look, he's getting dragged along. It somewhat works. Maybe we should attach one to the front. And there he goes. Ah, it's glorious. Also, very beautiful. Love the fireworks. All right, I got another one here. So let's go boom, slow-mo, and there we go. All right, so I believe they're all, are they all lit? Oh, there it goes. It works. All right, so we have created a fireworks jetpack. <laughs> he doesn't get very high off the ground, but it works. I mean, what more can you ask for? So we need a grand finale here. So let's go boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay, let's make sure these front ones are activated. Activate, activate, activate. I got these two close together. Activate. All right, here we go. Grand finale. Let's do this. Uh oh. Uh, let's go full speed. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. But, anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of People Playground. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. If you have any suggestions, comment below, and we'll see you guys next time.